you, you spectacular Bible fellowship teachers. This is a great week to make disciples because that's what we do. We make disciples. Hey, this summer we are focused on Summer Strong. We are so focused on having gospel conversations, sharing the gospel with people, sharing our testimony. And reading this little book right here that says, Tell Someone. This week we're in chapter four, and we would love it if you'd spend a little bit of time talking with your class about chapter four. And it asks this question in chapter four, where do we preach the gospel? Where do we preach the gospel? And the short answer is everywhere. We preach the gospel to our family. We preach the gospel in our workplace. We preach the gospel in our neighborhoods and essentially in the whole world. We are looking to have gospel conversations. You know, our author this week, he compares and contrasts kind of two different characters in the Old Testament. Jonah. Remember Jonah? God said, go preach to the people of Nineveh. And Jonah said, no, I will not do it. And he didn't care if God saved the people. He didn't care about the people of Nineveh. In fact, he didn't want God to save them. But then there was this other, this other queen, Queen Esther. And Esther became queen, and the, the people of the land were threatening to kill all the Jewish people. And so Esther had a potential to save the people if she would come before the king. The only problem is it might cost her her life. Well, her uncle said to her, Look, Esther, perhaps God put you in this position for such a time as this. He has strategically placed you to make a difference for such a time as this. Think about that. For such a time as this, God has put you where he's put you among your coworkers. For such a time as this, God has put you in the neighborhood by the neighbor that he's put you beside. Even if you don't like them, God puts you there for such a time as this. Eternity is a long time, and the short window of life you have here on the earth, God has placed you where he's placed you for such a time as this to make a difference. So I want to encourage you to share the gospel this week. Have a gospel conversation with the people that God has put in your life. There's a quote I want to read you at the end of this chapter that's so powerful. Listen to this. It's Spurgeon. He says, If sinners be damned, at least let them leap to hell over our dead bodies. And if they perish, let them perish with our arms wrapped around their knees, imploring them to stay. If hell must be filled, let it be filled in the teeth of our exertions. And let no one, let not one go unwarned and unprayed for. Boy, what a passion for souls Charles Spurgeon has. I, I pray that we would have that passion, that our neighbors would not go to hell without leaping over our bodies, trying to keep them from um, going to eternity without Christ. Let's share the gospel. No Bible Fellowship, July 3rd. No Bible Fellowship, July 3rd.